Arabian Nights as the most Arabian days. Hey, hey, this is Matthew B. Lamont, and welcome to another trailer reaction videos. This time we're looking at Aladdin, and uh, before I start, I'd like to say my internet is messed up, and I like, I'm, I'm going to see it from my cell phone now. So, a live action version of Aladdin. How will that work? Well, there's only. One way to find out. A teaser trailer popped out, and I'm going to take a look at it. So, here it is. The uh, teaser trailer to Disney's Aladdin. Esters. Wonder. The palace. It's that flying. Is that Iago? Shiny. May twenty fourth. You know, you can tell by the look in this face I'm excited for this movie. I know I enjoyed the original when I was a kid. I know I enjoyed it when I, because of the genie, Robin Williams' great performance, and please uh, make this movie in the memory of Robin Williams. So, on the plus side, we can see an Arabian Nights tale come to the big screen, and... I looked at the cast, and uh, while Will Smith plays the genie, uh, Mena Masood plays uh, charming scoundrel Aladdin, and uh, Marwan Kanzari as Jafar, Gilbert Gottfried will still do the voice of Iago, so that's a good sign. Like I said, Will Smith is the genie, Naomi Scott is Jasmine, the beautiful self-determined princess. And, uh, this is pretty good because, you know what, I think Ryan Reynolds will be a great genie, but, uh, hey, Will Smith uh, will be the genie because, uh, let's see him what would happen if he goes back to his comedy roots, like in the 90s, with Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. And, uh, having an actual Arab be cast as Aladdin is good and shows the world that, uh, not all Arabs are bad. Most Arabs are nice. I mean, if I if you want if you want to know more about this, the truth of Arabs, I highly suggest you read the book The TV Arab by Jack H. Shaheen. Yeah, The TV Arab by Jack H. Shaheen from 1984. Give it a read. <laughs> what was that? Uh, that uh, ba na ba noise? I know. I hope it doesn't happen again. So anyway, um, I look at it with an open mind, but uh, the door swings both ways. Like I said, about Will Smith as a genie and an Arabs playing the characters, specifically a hero and villain, the door swings both ways. Even though we're in a post-9-11 world, it glorifies a Muslim, but 
I don't know. I don't want to touch this subject, but I can't wait to see more. I can imagine Iago there, voiced by Gilbert Gottfried. Yes, this is my movie. They're, you're not going to see Aladdin. You're going to see the Iago movie starring me and nobody else. Isn't that right? Silence, you bickersome bird. Place a civil tongue in your beak. And this, because this movie is Aladdin, starring Aladdin. You're my sidekick. I'm the villain, Jafar. That's me. And Aladdin, that scoundrel's a hero. So place this, so silence thyself and understand that this movie is Aladdin. Uh, and, uh, yeah. So, uh, I can imagine it working and, uh, Aladdin grabbing the lamp, rubbing it, and my first time I got introduced to Aladdin wasn't the cartoon by Disney at all, it was like in some sort of Japanese fairy tale video with uh, these uh, animes done in simplistic style, and uh, it didn't have a genie that was influenced by Tex Avery morphing into these characters, but let me tell you, Eric Goldberg, who worked on this animated feature, Aladdin, he was inspired by Tex Avery to create the genie's persona and uh, Robin Williams' performance and uh, so he morphs with all these characters like uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Robert De Niro, uh, Pinocchio, Jack Nicholson, Peter Lorre, William F. Buckley Jr. <laughs> that is an obscure reference. <laughs> If you grew up in the 60s and 70s and 80s and 90s, you would get it. Because William F. Buckley Jr. was the host of the, this PBS series that dealt with current issues called The Firing Line. It ran from 1966 till 1999. So, look it up, William F. Buckley Jr. and The Firing Line, and tell them that Matthew, Matthew B. Lamont sent you there. Well... I, I'm, I'm interested. I, I enjoyed Aladdin, the animated film, as well as Return of Jafar and uh, King of Thieves, especially the part where the genie morphed into Mickey Mouse, Steamboat Willie. Oh yeah, by the way, happy 90th birthday, Mickey, Mickey Mouse. Oh, yes, he originated, yeah, he was created in 1928. And while you may, while you are really old, nine decades old, you're still young to us. And you're young at heart. So anyway, Mickey Mouse, th th Mickey Mouse tribute aside, um, it is hilarious. Uh, the, uh, the genie, he's hilarious. And uh, going back, uh, Wow, I enjoyed Aladdin, The Jungle Book, Beauty and the Beast. I did see a live-action Jungle Book. I did see the live-action version of... Uh... No, no, I skipped out the live-action version of Beauty and the Beast because I just saw the previews all the way. The characters were, they were like, ah, I didn't want to see it. I, I didn't like it. But I did enjoy The Jungle Book. And I also can't wait to see Aladdin. How would that work? So, this is Matthew B... Yeah, you know, Aladdin, the uh, animated film. Arabian Nights! That's the most Arabian days! So, yeah. So this is Matthew B. Lamont. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.